Dami ni Lad are willing to forgo the arbitral ruling fining the government 11 point plus billion pesos. Have we relayed this to the High Court of Singapore? Has there been a communication concerning this or press release lang? Madam Chair, um, it's not to the High Court of Singapore. There's, a, there's an arbitration panel. Whatever, whatever uh, panel. Kasi uh, so, kung press release lang yan, uh, liable pang ma-attach yung assets ng national government. We have so there has to be a formal pleading filed before that arbitral court in Singapore. Whatever nomenclature that court is. Meron na ba? Legal? Wala pa. On our part, Mr. Wala Chair, pa. we wrote a letter to the President to make sure it's documented properly and for reference also put on record at the House hearing yesterday. So, so I guess it's a question that can be presented as evidence that they've actually... Yes, kasi, kasi po, Madam Chair, kung meron na silang uh, na-file na, na pleading sa Singapore, eh maiiwasan na po ang uh, pagiging argabyado ng pamahalaan baka ma-attach po yung iba nating property sa, sa abroad in case na hindi i-recognize ng isang local court yung decision. Number two, uh, since you are willing to forgo and you affirm that on record, as a follow-up to the question posed earlier by Senator Gatchalian, although I was not here, binulong lang niya sa akin, are you willing to forgo in case, in case it is proven by tax experts that there was really a shifting of the corporate income tax burden to the consumers, which eventually led to a consumption tax. Ang, ang figures ni Senator Gatchalian is 79 billion pesos. Are you willing to uh, refund, reimburse the consumers in terms of uh, uh, rebate uh, relative to that uh, CIT spread out in, in the bills of the consumers? Can, can we get that straight? Yes, sir. Actually, ho, uh, so, yes, la, sir. Payag kayo? La, wala ho kasi isa sa uli dahil wala ho kaming siningil na taxes sa uh, consumers. Pero uh -huh. yung, yung, yung lumalabas kanina, yung mga uh -huh. ibang mga expenditures uh -huh. were uh, shouldered by, babalikan ko yung uh -huh. kwento kanina uh -huh. ng umpisa, yung mga borders ni, ni Romina, uh -huh. sinye, gina, napunta sa, sa gastusin uh -huh. ng taong bayan. Kasi ho, yung regulatory office ho natin, hindi na ho nila sinusunod yung nakasulat. So, so the answer is? So wala hong taxes talaga ngayon sa tariff at wala ho kaming nakokolekta para sa taxes. But there was a statement before, Madam Chair, there was a statement before coming from MWSS na hindi talaga nagbayad ng corporate income tax at ito ay kinarga ng pinasan ng taong bayan. Kami ho na we'll, tax. We'll, we'll, ano, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go to that uh, when the time comes. Siguro pakitaan ng financial record. Pero yung tanong ko simple lang, hmm. kung sakaling mapatunayan na kinarga yung buwis sa taong bayan, Pwede nyo bang isole, i-refund? Yes or no lang yan? Kung mapatunayan ho, sige ho. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Mendras? Yung, yung kinolekta, kasi wala na ho kami kinolekta from the customer since nag ano yung ano. But prior to that, we followed po the concession agreement. Kaya nga ho tayo nagpa-arbitrate to find the proper treatment. Non-interference yun. Uh, aspect ng non-interference yun. So, answer is yes or no? Uh, I'm not at liberty to answer because I don't, I'm not no, a lawyer answer. po. So, I'm, I'm sorry above. po. Last question, Madam Chair, uh, relative to uh, the statement read by Administrator Salamat that apparently MWSS is conforming with the decision of DOJ that it is about time that we reinstate the original terms 2022, May 6, 2022 for Manila Water, May 7, 2022 for Manila. Would that mean, I ask again, Manila Water and Manila, would that mean, sinabi kanina ni Manila, that in case of losses brought about by capital expenditures of either of you, will that be charged to the government again, to MWSS, and eventually to the consuming public? Yung losses. Kalimbawa, sabi mo kanina, may ginastos pa kayo dahil pan-2023, may ginastos kayo. Kung pinutol lang nga yung kontrata, bumalik dun sa 2022, yung bang mga losses na na-incar ninyo ay i-charge uli sa taong bayan pursuant to that onerous provision contained in the concession agreement? The answer again is yes or no.
Ako po hindi pa ako makakasagot. Kasi Sin- sinagot mo kanina, sinabi mo 2023. Ay, Paano po, naman yun? May gastos kami ng 2023. Oh, po, Paano naman kung panindigan nga na hanggang 2022 lang? So yung losses ninyo, that will be considered as a loss. Yung ba ay i-charge nyo sa, sa pamahalaan and eventually sa taong bayan? Yes or no? Pag-uusapan po yata. Pag-uusapan pa. Okay. Uh, for Manila Water. The same, the same Your Honor. Pag-uusapan. But that's all, Mr. Madam Chair. Kasi, Senator, meron talagang provision dyan na nagsasabi rin uh, protection siguro sa kanila na talagang pag meron naman silang mga naiambag na na kapital, basta na-deliver na, hindi lang yung inuutang pa lang, no? Yung, kunyari, naglagay sila ng tubong ganyan, pero nakita naman talaga na nandyan yung tubo at napapakinabangan na, yun lang siguro, pero para sabihin na uh, umutang pa lang, pero hindi pa nagagasta, I don't think that's fair at that particular point, that just to, to clarify. And Madam Chair, one more, one more point. Kaya ako po nasabi yun, kasi nga, kung sakaling uh, ibalik yung termination, expiration ng contract sa 2022, ay baka mas maraming i-claim na losses dahil gumastos na kami, nag-import na kami ng mga ganito, nag-invest na kami ng ganito, thinking na hanggang 2037 kami. Ayun pala, naging 2022 uli. Baka ikarga sa atin yung gastusin sa 20, na 2023, 2024, 2025. Yeah, Yun I, lang po yung tanong ko, Madam. I don't know. It's good that you're clarifying that, Senator Tolentino. I suppose uh, a good audit of it, should we come to that? Um, a fair audit with an independent body uh, should be employed to be able to evaluate the situation because as the as uh, Senator Bongo said, the President is not averse to or does not disagree that uh, with, with the private sector when it comes to what will be best for the country. In fact, uh, have been business friendly in Davao. So I'm sure that uh, the government shouldn't also allow undue losses especially when it comes to uh, capital expenses that were already delivered to the public.